Top five questions that people ask Power Director. What are they? This was actually posted in the forums, um, and I'll have a link to where that is if you want to read it. Um, but not everybody is signed up in the forums, so I thought I'd make a quick video on what are the top five questions that people ask CyberLink Power Director. Number one, how can I re-download my Power Director software again when the link has expired? The link is only good for 30 days. So after 30 days, you will not be able to download Power Director again. What you should do when you buy Power Director is you should actually download it, place it on a CD or put it in a folder someplace so you have a backup, maybe in two folders, and open your text editor, put your key in there, and then save that into the same folder. And now you've got a backup copy of it all the time. But if you haven't done that, and if you've lost it, and you need to re-download it, there is a link that you go to, and I'll have that information in the bottom. And you have to include your purchase order number and your email address, and they will try and get that out to you. It's always better to back it up yourself so you don't have to deal with those issues. Question number two. I bought PowerDirector, but I can't see where I enter my key into the trial version. The trial version has no place to enter the key whatsoever. You should actually remove the trial version from your computer, and when you have bought it and downloaded it, you have to install that version and then enter your key. Question three. Can I install PowerDirector on more than one computer? Can I use my PowerDirector 365 subscription on more than one computer? These are two questions, and these are common questions. I've had these questions quite a bit myself. If you buy PowerDirector, the deluxe, the ultra, or the ultimate version, you are not allowed to install it on other computers. You can use it on one computer and only one computer only. However, if you have a PowerDirector 365 subscription, you can have that on two computers as long as you're not using both computers at the same time. So I hope that question clears it up for a lot of people. Question four, and this one's a big one. Why does my video preview drop frames or is it incredibly slow during playback and editing? A lot of people have problems with PowerDirector because of it being slow. And you have to understand, video editing does require powerful computers. The, be the more powerful the computer, the better. And uh, if your video preview is lagging or it's not smooth on your platform, they're suggesting some things you can do here to actually speed it up. Um, they're saying here, enable shadow files in your general preferences. That will help speed it up a little bit. Select a lower preview res resolution to reduce the lag during playback. And you do that over by the window that you preview. There's a drop down box that you can select different preview resolutions to help see it a little bit better. Another one is called use render preview to pre-render pre complex section. Render preview, I'll have a link here, go check out that video. I explain that. Um, I use that all the time. Now render preview runs very slow. Once you activate it, uh, go have supper, go do something. Now you can render preview only sections or you can do the whole video. I normally do the whole video. I'll just put it in there, I'll render preview it, and I'll go do something outside or whatever. I'll come back an hour later and it'll be done and then I continue my editing. That's uh, probably one of the better options you can do. Select non-real-time -real -time preview mode. Another option is save the project, close PowerDirector to free up memory, and then open it again to continue with your project. Now, you should close all other applications. If you do a cold start of your computer, so you tell your computer, let's restart, shut it down, then push the power button to start it. We've done a cold start. Now we make sure in the right side down by your clock, you've got a whole bunch of icons over there. Those are programs that are taking up memory and they are taking up resources of your computer. Right click on those, exit, 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 remove them all. Run your power director. You're trying to make sure power director is the only thing running on your computer. So now you get the fastest speed possible. There are even some people that I've talked to that have a computer strictly for video editing when they're doing complex things. And that's all that's on that computer. Is, and that's, that's awesome when you can do that, but not everybody has the luxury of owning that many computers. So I would really suggest use the render, make sure that applications you have running are shut down. Number five and the last one 
is why does my video clip become blurry, lose quality when added to the timeline? If your video appears if your video appears blurry or loses quality after it's added to the timeline, please check your preview quality or disable shadow files. And they have a link to facts and more detailed information. I'll have a link to that there. So there you have it. There are the top five questions that people ask at PowerDirector17 Cyberlink support. I'll have a link to where that is in the forum and I'll have all this information posted in the description box too. And maybe you have found this helpful yourself. And if you have any tips for other people on how to speed up their editing process, that would be great. And enter in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.